How's it going everybody? My name is Lucky Buns, and in today's video I'm going to be going over 20 things you need to do before you start the Indigo Disc in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Alright, so when is this DLC going to officially go live? So I have a lot of time zones on screen right now. This is going to vary depending on where you live, but for me personally, I live in Pacific Standard Time, so the DLC is going to go live on December 13th at 5 p.m. Now before this DLC even goes live, there are going to be some things that you absolutely have to do in order to actually access it, and that is going to be you need to complete the main story for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet in addition to the main story for the Teal Mask. Now with that being said, you don't have to complete the post-game content, but I would strongly recommend doing this, and the Scarlet and Violet post-game, you're gonna have to beat the Gym Leaders again, then you're gonna have to beat the Ace Academy Tournament, this is actually the best moneymaker in the game, so really good in preparation for this upcoming DLC. And then after you beat the Ace Academy Tournament, you're going to unlock 6 and 7 star raid battles. 6 star raid battles are one of the best ways to farm Urban Mystica in the game, and 7 star raid battles are exclusive event Pokémon, but they are also some of the best Pokémon you can acquire. For example, we've got a Pokémon like Mewtwo, Typhlosion, Greninja, Inteleon, Cinderace, and so many more. Now in the Teal Mask DLC, there's going to be a ton of post-game content to complete as well. For example, you guys can get access to Blood Moon or Saluna. You can get some really easy Urban Mystica, in addition to some really easy cash. You can beat the Kitakami Ogre Clan members, and just tons of other things as well. I actually have a full guide video, which I'm going to link in the description down below. Highly recommend checking it out before you guys start the Indigo Disc. Now next up, there's going to be some mystery gifts currently active, which I highly recommend taking advantage of. The codes are going to be on screen right now. So the first one is going to be for a Dark Rye, the second one is going to be for a Shiny Lucario, and the third one is going to be for a Master Ball, but this actually goes alive right when the Indigo Disc drops, so you won't be able to get access to this just yet. Now following that, we're also going to have Dialga and Palkia raids available until the 21st. These are going to be in 5-star raid battles, and you can only catch one, so if you guys haven't done this already, make sure to go through and beat these two. I believe Dialga is going to be for Pokemon Scarlet, and Palkia is going to be for Pokemon Violet, but if you guys have the online raid battles, you guys can do both. Now next up, let's go over the charms that you want to get before starting the Indigo Disc. So the first one is going to be the Shiny Charm. This is unlocked by completing the Pokedex for Paldea. Most of you guys probably already have this one done by now, but if you haven't got this one done, I seriously recommend this the most because going into a new area with the Shiny Charm unlocked gives you significantly better odds of just encountering random Shinies, which I have actually done myself a handful of times in the Teal Mask DLC. Now the next one is going to be the Glimmering Charm, which is unlocked by completing the Pokedex for Kitakami, this is going to award you more Terra Raid shards from raid battles, which doesn't seem like it's that crazy, but it's actually such a good bonus. And then finally, I would recommend getting the Experience Charm as well. This is unlocked from the Ogre Ousting minigame in Kitakami, and then by beating this minigame on hard mode, you're also going to be able to get a free shiny Munchlax. That being said though, beating hard mode is no easy task. I mean, obviously it's in the name, but I mean like this is seriously a really difficult task. It takes a lot of coordination. The next thing that I'm going to recommend getting is about 100 Quick Balls. This is going to be the fastest way to catch Pokemon in the new region, and you're definitely going to want to go through and complete the Pokedex as soon as possible. Now, like I mentioned earlier, going into this DLC, there's going to be a ton of tough trainer battles in this region, and that usually means a lot of reward money as well. So if you guys haven't grabbed the Amulet Coin already, I strongly recommend picking that up. And then if you did pre-order this DLC before October 31st, you were given a Swain Zora arc with the special move Happy Hour. This actually gives you even more money combined with Amulet Coin. I would argue this is going to be one of the most important Pokemon to have in your entire entire playthrough because you're going to accumulate so much money with this combo. Hopefully you guys are able to get it. If you didn't, I, I do apologize. You can still use the amulet coin, it's just not going to be as OP. While we're on the topic of tough trainer battles though, I would also highly recommend to stock up on a ton of potions, revives, and full restores. I don't typically need to use full restores that often, but I may have to use them, you know, during some of these battles because they're supposed to be really difficult. That being said though, if I don't end up going through and using full restores, I just buy the regular potions and then use the auto heal function to heal up all my Pokemon. Now once again, on that note, I would also recommend building competitive Pokemon before you step foot into the Indigo Disc. I mean, obviously at this point you've been in the main story for both games, you're probably going to have some pretty good Pokemon if you've already gotten this far. That being said though, these trainer battles are supposed to be really difficult like I've already talked about, so you want to focus on EVs, IVs, mints, and held items. Everything is going to matter when it comes down to having your Pokemon ready. For those of you that actually beat the Kitakami Ogre Clan members, they all had competitive Pokemon, but they were single battles. For the Indigo Disc, they're going to be a lot of double battles, which means even more effective strategies that competitive players use, and uh, for anybody who's just more of a casual player, it's probably going to be really difficult for you to get through some of these battles if you don't prepare ahead of time because all of your opponent's Pokemons are going to be competitively built 
with strategies, EVs, IVs, mint, everything. So obviously building a competitive team is one of the most important things you can do before you start the Indigo Disc, but there's a few other things I want to mention as well. So going to the DLC, if you're more of a shiny hunter, then having Urban Mystica ready is going to allow you to shiny hunt immediately once you step foot into this place. And I guarantee there's going to be some people who go for those new shinies right away. We have access to every single starter Pokemon in this region, and it's going to be kind of exciting to go through and just hunt your favorite shiny starter. Now like I mentioned earlier, I do have a video that goes over how to get some really easy Urban Mystica in the Teal Mask, so I do recommend checking out that video. That's going to be linked in the description down below, along with everything else. Now additionally, on top of farming Urban Mystica, I would also recommend farming Terra Raid Shards, and the reason for this is because when you're going to that new region, especially with competitive battling, you're going to want to make sure that you have enough Terra Shards to change your Terra Typing in Medali, which costs 50 shards per change. So that's kind of a lot, and if you have the Glimmering Charm, this goes by so much quicker. If I'm being completely honest here, this one isn't huge to get done before you start the Indigo Disc, but it is going to help you if you just have them ready to go. And then finally, my last recommendation is going to be to have your sandwich ingredients ready. So there's going to be a ton of new recipes added into the Indigo Disc. We don't know exactly what those recipes are going to be like, but you want to make sure that you have your ingredients ready to go. And with that being said, that's basically everything that I have for you guys before the Indigo Disc releases. Once again, make sure to check out these videos right here, but before you go, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you all real soon in the next one.